Hey, Jay here. One of our latest projects is a uh, Razer XP1000. Um, they're pretty cool units. I'm not a huge fan for uh, uh, UTVs yet because I'm more of a dirt bike guy, a little bit of ATV stuff. They say with age comes a cage, and I'm still a little ways off. So I'm going to wait. But my buddy Brian, we've been modifying his, had it in uh, UTV Action Magazine already. Now we're going to the next step and making this thing a big bore. So we're going to show you what, what we're going to do to this thing. Um, Cylinder Works has a complete bolt-on cylinder ready to go. Now with this cylinder, it simply drops on. It's five millimeters larger for each piston. So that's 10 millimeters larger overall. Makes the CCs 1110 CCs total. Um, so a big increase. Comes with a forged vertex piston. Really high quality piece, as you can see. So you cut the piston. It'll come with the gaskets for the top end and everything you need. Now with this big bore kit, we found with a Razor stock XP1000, the stock rods are not strong enough to handle this. So you'll need to go to an aftermarket rod with Hot Rods, Carrillo, or uh, Crankworks. Somebody else, you're gonna need to get stronger rods for your XP1000 if you go with a big bore kit. So that's the big bore kit. At the same time we do the big bore kit, we're gonna be installing our hot cams. Stage two camshafts, they come complete, ready to bolt on. No problem. And you can do these camshafts without doing the big bore. You could do just camshafts, go with our stage ones, probably if you keep the motor stock, go with the stage one. Then later, if you do a big bore, be stage twos. But we're going right to stage twos on this big bore. And that's an inside look at everything we're doing here. And this thing should run uh, pretty amazing.